Greetings everyone and welcome to this new series on generalized linear mixed modeling in JASP. Generalized linear mixed models allow us to model linear relationships between one or more explanatory variables and a dependent variable in cases where the observations are not independent but clustered given one or several random effects grouping factors that is for example repeated measures across participants. They are generalization of linear mixed models and allow us to model response variables that are not continuous using different likelihoods and link functions. In the playlists on regression, we reviewed how to fit predictors to explain a response variable. These predictors consisted of what are known as fixed effects. Fixed effects are those effects which can be defined as being constant across individuals while random effects may vary between individuals. Alternatively, we can say that effects are fixed if they are interesting in themselves or random if there is interest in the underlying population. In some situations, a fixed effect can act as a random effect and vice versa. This distinction may be made apparent by looking at this example we have in front of us. This is a data set belonging to a clinical trial where patients who had moderate or severe toenail infections or onychomycosis were treated with either itraconazole or terbinafine. The visits column represents the visits at approximately four weeks intervals starting under date of st starting therapy. The time variable represents the exact time in months when the patients visited the center. Your outcome is coded as zero or one, zero indicating moderate to severe onychomycosis and one indicating mild or treated onychomycosis. Before performing a generalized linear mixed effects model, we might need to first see what percentages, what proportions of patients were actually treated after starting therapy. To do that, we will go to the contingency tables option. And right off the bat, we can see that the p-value is not significant. And we can see that the percentages who were treated are approximately equal 77 and approximately 80 percent now that we know this we can perform a generalized linear mixed effects model with a binomial family distribution so go to generalized linear mixed models under the mixed models drop down option the family is binomial and this is correct since the outcome is coded as either 0 or 1, it is two values. Let's leave the link function as log it. The patient ID will be uh, treated as a random effects grouping factor but it needs to be a nominal variable first. So now that patient ID is converted to a normal variable. We can now put this into this box. The treatment which is given and the visit both are fixed effects. In the model drop down option we can specify interaction terms if we wish. JASP already automatically does that for you when you select multiple fixed effects so we don't have to do that. But if you don't want an interaction term, you can easily remove this term. In the next video, we will review input options for generalized linear mixed models in JASP. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.